We are Wall Street. It is our job to make money. Whether it is a commodity, stock, bond, or some hypothetical piece of fake paper, it doesn't matter. We would trade baseball cards if it were profitable. I didn't hear America complaining when the market was roaring to 14,000 and everyone's 401k doubled every three years. Just like gambling, it is not a problem until you lose. I've never heard of anyone going to Gamblers Anonymous because they won too much in Vegas. Well, now the market has crept out. And even though it has come back somewhat, the government and the average Joes are still looking for a scapegoat. God knows there needs to be one for everything. Well, here we are. Go ahead and continue to take us down. But you're only going to hurt yourselves. What's going to happen when we can't find jobs on the street anymore? Guess what? We're going to take yours. We get up at 5 a.m. and work till 10 p.m. or later. We're used to not getting up to pee when we have a position. We don't take an hour or more for a lunch break. We don't demand a union. We don't retire at 50 with a pension. We eat what we kill. And when the only thing left for us to eat is on your dinner plates, we will eat that. For years, teachers and other unionized labor have had us fooled. We are too busy working to notice. Do you really think that we are incapable of teaching third graders and doing landscaping? We're going to take your cushy jobs with tenure and four ye months off a year and whine like, just like you that we are so underpaid for building the youth of America. Say goodbye to your overtime and your double time and a half. I'll be hitting crowners to the high school baseball team for an extra 5k a summer. Thank you very much. So now that we're going to be making 85k a year without upside, Joe Main Street is going to have his uh, revenge, right? Wrong! Guess what? We are going to stop buying the new 80k car. We aren't going to leave the 35% tip at our business dinners anymore. No more free rides on our backs. We're going to landscape our own backyards, wash our cars with a garden hose on our driveways. Our money was your money. You spent it. And when our money drives up, so does yours. The difference is, you lived off it. We rejoiced in it. The Obama administration and the Democratic National Committee might have their way and knock us off the top of the pyramid. But it's really going to hurt like hell for them when our fat houses land directly on the middle class of America and knock them to the bottom. We aren't dinosaurs. We are smarter and more vicious than that. And we are going to survive. The question is, is now that Obama and his administration are making Joe Main Street our food supply, will he? It will be!